Hi friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel Daisy DIY. We're gonna start first with these beautiful small plastic planters that I got from Dollar Tree. They come four in a pack and I'm gonna be using a plastic plate that I had on hand. You guys can use any plastic plate that you guys have or if you guys want to you guys can get one from Dollar Tree. I'm gonna be using E6000 to glue it so it can have a permanent hold with a little bit of the hot glue so it just can hold it into the E6000. It dries completely and I use this spray paint on color black just to paint that plate and I just cover the small planter because I didn't want to cover it with the same paint because I really love the color it had under or if you guys want to you guys can be done with the project it looks amazing already I decided to grab these jewelry border stickers and I'm gonna grab just a piece put it on the bottom and I went over with the rust paint to paint it. I just did one coat and I just let it dry. I switched with a small brush because on the edges it was kind of hard to paint it and it was way easy to use a small brush and once it was completely dry I went over with a piece of sandpaper so we can just see all the detail that it had this small planter all around like I said I really love the color it had under so I just want the color to pop a little bit and I went over with a little bit of the anti-wax and it was the touch that I need and also with the same anti-wax I just went over on the top of the plate it looks amazing already if you guys want to you guys can be finished with your project I decide to give you a second option If you guys want to, you guys can use the same rust paint to paint it. I didn't cover it all the way because I want the color black to show a little bit more, you know. Because the plate, it has so much detail. And also, I cover on the back of the plate so it can has a finished look. And with a piece of sandpaper, I went over just to on the edges so we can distress it a little bit more, the plate. And with a little bit of the anti-wax, I went over over just in a few parts and it turned out really beautiful and this is how it looks our project once we're done you guys can place anything on the top i just want to show you just with this greenery and with this candle that i got from dollar tree it looks beautiful already or if you guys want to you guys can place this beautiful planter on the top and also the other thing that i did i just grabbed a piece of ribbon and i create just a simple bow and place it And I just want to take a moment to mention that today we're taking part in this wonderful collab that has been hosted by the amazing Fabi from Eros DIY and all these talented friends that they're participating. I will leave the link of her channel in my description box below and also the link of the playlist. I hope you guys enjoy. If you do, please don't forget to give us a big thumbs up. Thank you so much. For the next project, I'm going to be using a piece of wood and I just covered the holes with a little bit of the spackling and I just want to mention if you guys don't have the same piece of wood that I have, you guys can grab a few pieces of the jingle block and you guys can create this simple and easy project and to paint it, I just used the rust paint. I just did one coat and I just let it dry and I decided to use this craft wise chalkboard paint on color ink just to distress it and the edge and once I was done I went over with my pencil and my ruler to create this chiplet look that I love to create on my signs and I create a few lines and with a piece of paper towel and it's a little bit wet I just went over to the stress it a little bit we're going to be creating two side projects I did the same step on the other side and I use a little bit of the anti-wax and I just went in a few parts and you guys can see the wood under I just 
love it once I distress it. And I use these beautiful stickers that I got at Dollar Tree. They're really beautiful. I just grabbed one piece and you guys can place it on the middle or in the side. I decide to place it on the side. And to hold the sticker very well, I decide to use a little bit of the Mod Podge so it can hold really well the sticker. And I grab another sticker to place it on the other side. And also you guys can grab like any greenery or any flowers that you guys want to place it on the side. I decide to use this rub on stickers and I just place one on each side and it was the touch that I need and I just want to show you on the other side. I just place a few pieces of the greenery and to displace this beautiful two side project I just going to place it on the top of the race. I just love it how it turns out but please let me know in the comments down below what do you guys think about this beautiful and easy project and please don't forget to see all the videos that all these talented friends that they're participating with us today thank you so much Fabi for hosting this wonderful collab So that was it for today's video. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified every time that I upload a new video. And please don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Facebook. Thank you so much and have an amazing day.